All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. Um, so I've just completed episode Prompto. Uh, I recommend that so you guys can figure out what all happened to Prompto while he was away. Um, now I did mess around with this a little bit because I saw that fucking thing, and I uh, wasn't sure if I could just like destroy it. Um, I don't think I was able to. No, it didn't work. Yeah, so... Oh, but I can summon something, right? Right? Oh, I'm... I'm frozen. Yeah, he can... He can turn you in... Turn you into stone. Okay. He's coming back out. Who am I summoning? I don't know. Alright. Let's see if this guy actually does enough damage to him. Because I was uh, I was trying to use like life drain and stuff, and it's... he's a uh, he's pretty fucking strong. I was gonna call it Wall Master, but it's not something else. Living Wall. Or something. Yeah. Kill him? I don't know. No, we did not. Demon Wall. Wow. He took a uh, took a lot of fucking damage. And, uh, he's fine. I mean, I can continue sitting here and draining his health, but I drain my MP as well. Oh, and he does a thousand damage, I guess. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave then. He, uh, he will chase you around this area, too. Interesting, the music just kind of stopped there. Can we still see Ramu in the sky anywhere? No. Alright. Um... So I don't know just how far I'm actually going to have to walk. Okay, my stamina is depleting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my infinite stamina thing that I have somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, stamina badge. Device that enables Noctis to sprint and hang without expending stamina. Sounds good. Um, yeah, because I honestly don't know how far I'm going to have to run. What the fuck is... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of, um, necromancer-type enemies up there. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know if I'm actually going to have to run two miles, because I'm not looking forward to that. That would be kind of annoying. Um, I expect maybe something to happen on my way there. Um, I can't kill these things, and I'm not going to try. That's what I was just fighting. Um, if I had the whole party, sure, I'd give it a shot, but... Okay, well, I don't see the point in wasting everyone's time, so until something happens, like, I don't know, maybe I can fucking hitch a ride with someone, if not everyone is a demon already. Um... I don't know. Maybe I... Like, I know the regalia is messed up, so... We can't exactly just take that. Oh! What is it, boy? Where the fuck coming. did you go? Is it a car? It is a car. Thank Christ. I can't move. A truck? Should I get in the way? Uh... Who are you? Yeah, it's me, uh, Talkit. Oh fuck! What the fuck? The Amasidia family. Talkit. Yeah. How many fucking years has it been? No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. You were like ten when I left. Yes, sir. That's that's right. I guess he could be like fourteen huh? or something, maybe. Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said I'm assuming he it's core. It in person. Okay, uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Dude looks good. Just gonna. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Is doggy yeah. in the cab with us? You sure look different though. Yeah, yes. All right. I think so. Guess I've grown some these 
Ten years. Ten years. Oh, what the fuck? Look at these cactars. <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Yeah, um, anyway, how has it been ten years, more, actually? Not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. <laughs> you know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but, uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. <sighs> so why has it been ten years? What the fuck oh, was I doing? Uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. Yeah, I already knew that. I don't know why I knew that, but I knew that. Oh, you there's know, some bombs. You disappeared, and Majesty, some other bombs. It's been nothing but nighttime, non-stop. Yep. Lestalem still has light, thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Yep, we see ya later. Thing, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead right, from time to time. Two. But it usually isn't for repairs. These days, it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. Bunch of fucking the garage shit is still on the road. Though, one of the few places that is. So, um, Sid, he's still alive and kicking. I hope so. <laughs> he's kicking all right. All right, just good. not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least not since he moved out to Lestal. So what are these cactar? Someone suggested he moved the garage show. there too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. Because that one has like a lightning there underneath an it. Idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anymore. Oh hello. Else. Goodbye. Yeah, sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. That was a fucking so Ronin ninja or something. They put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward hmm. to. So for these cactus, I'm wondering if they're like More folk were getting hurt. showing the uh, the hexathion, but I don't know. The demons themselves, Eris the demon slayer, they call her. <laughs> Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompt us fucking most nightmare. Of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis, <laughs> he hunts too. He tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> he said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. It's true. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as these well. These bombs. It isn't often you see the three of them together ice? nowadays. They Just still seen work them for a while. every once in a while. But each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? Why was I gone so long? Like, what the fuck? Was I just trapped in the crystal? How did I get to the island, first of all? Why was there a boat? Probably fucking Arden or something. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. This music is ex excellent. Ugh. I'm wondering if this is ash falling or what it is, I don't know. <laughs> hey, that's all you have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Get a haircut, no, dude. It's, How about it's that? you! It's really you! <laughs> Hadn't realized. Well, you have well. a beard. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. Good thing our other flashlights still work. Head for the Crown City. Well, you told me to head inside. Can't move. The final battle will commence once you leave Hammerhead. Be sure to prepare to spare no preparation. Okay. Well, um, I can stay here. Okay. So let's see. What what do we have? I mean, the vendors aren't open. I guess I can't buy stuff. Or oh, there we go. Hey. Alright, do we have anything good? No. I already have all this stuff. Hyperion, though. What is that? Oh, we already have one of those. Well, he already has one of those. 
And I've got Thunderbolt, but that does more damage? No, it does less damage. Okay, I wonder if they've outfitted him with... By him, I mean, uh... Oops, what the fuck? Okay, I guess he doesn't have more than one... Can I ha Oh, uh, sorry, only these two can have... The lances. Main gauche. Um, he's already got those, yeah, so I think they might have just given my squad mates what they need. Quicksilver. It's his actual name. Uh, Black Prince. Got something better though. I have one in my inventory. Um, Titanium Bangles. Oracle Card. Um, so I guess a Hyperion would be the only thing I'd buy, but I don't have any fucking money. See you later. Because it's been forever since I did side quests. Unfortunately, I can't buy any of those. Let's see what this guy's got in here. Anything interesting hanging out? You got a fucking generator now? Did you always have this? I feel like you did not. Welcome. Oh, just, just potion items. All right. Um, I might grab, like, let's see, I mean, 20 of these. I can only grab 20. I will save my money then. Come again. Um, I'm just gonna check out the garage over here, which is closed, so I guess not. I don't think there's any other hiding items around here. Maybe there's a couple good things, I don't know. Hey. I'm surprised Core isn't here. At least the hammerhead thing is still alive. Um, well, I guess, I mean, they told me to head in here. There's no objective marker, but I guess I will. We got people to talk to. Just a shitload of weapons. Attack is gone. Hopefully he's just somewhere else around here. What's this? Red choker. I don't know if I have one of those already. I probably do, but... that picture. <laughs> Good thing they got a TV. We got here. Uh, study on the nature of photophilic particles. I guess that's maybe what's falling from the sky. That's a nugget in the background. Uh, on examining multiple correlations between the photophilic particles uh, responsible for the blight and the mutant strand of plasmodium associated with the demons. We have discovered a clear causal relationship. Furthermore, given the mass dispersal of photophilic particles upon death, the demon presence is likely accountable for the violent ecological shifts of late. Okay, so I guess every time we kill a demon when they like explode into that blackness, that's actually the stuff. Um, what do we got here? A geophysical survey of atmospheric conditions. Good thing you still have time for this. Uh, the presence of soot-like photophilic particles was confirmed in samples of air taken at varying elevations, with notably higher concentrations at higher altitudes. Okay. Photophilic particles have begun to subsume the ozone layer. That's not good. Uh, and the observed reduction of daylight on EOS can be attributed primarily to their light-absorbing properties. Okay, so it's almost like a volcano erupted. Because that's what would happen if a large enough volcano erupted on Earth. Um... You get different haircut too, hey. I don't know if um we have our like our final uh conflict gear that I saw at the beginning. Let's take a look and see what we got. Um trendy outfit, yeah, so I got some some other outfits as well. Um difficult to see, but oops. And then there's one with a no jacket, and then we've got, what was it? The Assassin's Road, which you've seen, but uh, this. <laughs> um, Magitech Exosuit as well. So that reminds me exactly of the uh, general that attacked um, both the capital and Noctis' dad when they were in uh, the name of the place that I can't remember where Luna Freya was. Um, 
See, so yeah, it's interesting that uh, that's, I guess, what that was, is just Magitek armor. Um, so yeah, these guys don't have anything different. But they were definitely in different clothing, I think. Um, okay, let's see. So I can take my stamina badge off and put the, what was it, the knight thing? Red choker with a gold clasp increases HP recovery significantly. Almost worthwhile, but... Throw another titanium bangle on there. Because I think I had carbon before. Is everybody missing their titanium bangles? Oh, I think I might have taken them off to give them, like, the actual boosts. Um, now we had a knight's bracelet on here before. Somewhere. Anywhere. There we go. Knight's anklet. So I'll have almost 4,000 health, but... Uh, double my strength, so... Does Ruby Bracelet actually do? Strength. Oh yeah, the Knight's one's not strength, it's something else. Vitality. Alright. I don't know, I don't, I don't remember what all the stats govern. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's rest up here real quick. Good thing I got enough money for that. Hmm. Ignis is able to walk around without, uh... Interesting. That is Kane. I almost leveled up there. Quality picture. Pronto's even capable of hunting alone these days. He really has come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Had to become a functioning adult sooner or later. Doesn't feel like you've changed, though. Not nearly as much as he claims. You gonna spoil my moment? <laughs> What's there to spoil? You know, even after all this time, you guys haven't changed a bit. Uh, not as individuals, perhaps, but we no longer need to ask one another for help in times of need. I mean, if but you still should. That sort of synergy, second nature. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And it only took us ten years to get here. How have I been gone that long? What the fuck was I doing in that prison? Uh, let's save real quick here, because it's going to be one of the last times I get to save. Oops. Um, I haven't done any more of the Assassin's Creed stuff. It's here for a little while longer, at least while I'm playing this. Uh, the lure thing I was trying to get was the last thing I actually need to get. Interesting perimeter here. Um, and it's like... It, it's a fucking random chance, so... It's not really... I'm not really too sad if I if I miss out on it. Um, I don't think there's anything else around this area. I already took my stamina thing off. Um, I'm almost out of time here, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move on any further than I already have today. We'll do that in the next episode. Yep. But yeah, I guess, uh, all that's left is for us to head out of Hammerhead here. Find a ride or go with Talcott, I'm not sure which. Um, I think that's our, our map is back home, so I don't know what, uh, if I'd even be able to do side quests at this point. But that's okay. I, I know afterwards I can go back and do stuff if I really have to. But anyways, um, thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you next time, and we'll head out uh, of Hammerhead here to confront the final, the final battle. We'll see what we can do next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.